Good day, citizens. It is 9-17-2023. It is 2.07 a.m. Um, this video will probably be about 10 to 15 minutes long, so grab a drink. Make yourself comfortable if you want to listen. Uh, this video is going to focus on coins that I would be buying right now. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time. Truthfully, I'm not trying to shill anything or... Uh, not trying to be an influencer in crypto. I'm just literally going to tell you guys what I would be buying and why. And that's what this video is going to focus on. So many people in the bull run wanted to buy coins. And it's like you bought in at the top or you're buying in at the wrong time. And now nobody's even talking about it. And uh, I do think that the bull run is going to return. Well, we have another event that causes it to dip. For a prolonged period, maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Will we'll the 19 come back? We don't know. Um, right now, Bitcoin is sitting at $26,547. Ethereum at $1,630. The Bitcoin halving is approximately 212 days away. Uh, why is that significant? Um, usually, after every halving, we have takeoffs. And if you look at all the, the points here, um, along the chart minus, I think the last bull run, it was a little different. Usually is when it, it all pumps up. So I'm not, a, I'm not going to be a chart wizard. I'm not trying to do anything fancy here, but usually after the happening, give or take a couple months, unless something drastic happens in the economy, we take off there. Even more interesting is there's usually even a little dip. Before it, before it like starts going real hard. Um, let me see here. If I can give you guys an example. Right. I think 2017 was the epic run. Was a, was a pretty epic run. And you can see like before the takeoff. <clears throat> it's going to have ring somewhere around here. It goes up, goes up. Then it goes back down. And then boom. Then it launches. Uh, it's pretty normal. Like I said. The last one was a little bit different. Uh, we didn't dip as far. So, something to think about. I don't think we're going to continue to have all these weird dips unless we have another, like, pandemic. But, food for thought. Um, getting off trading view. You don't know why the happening of Bitcoin is important. Most of the time, every crypto has going up or down based on bitcoin there's always a couple anomaly anomalies and uh, meme coins but this right here is a chart of all the happening i'm set to retire somewhere in here we have already been through most of these this is the next one so three bitcoin will be made per block that is mined if you don't understand all that that's a whole other topic i can make a video on it if you request it but eventually zero bitcoin will be mined if you don't believe in bitcoin i don't know what to tell you uh some people don't some people do i kind of do i think bitcoin will be used as a reserve currency why do i say that inflation look at the times we're living in right now go look at the cost of food uh people used to buy bonds right uh the bitcoin and crypto is just going to be another hedge for portfolios and your your investment bankers to use in their bag of tricks uh, at least that's my opinion i'm not a financial advisor i have no degree in this but i did make a crap load of money and live off of this for a while so that might be something that interests you if you think maybe you want to make money and be able to live off of it i'm someone who has done it i'm not trying to show you a program or sell you anything i'm talking facts from my personal experience and worldview others may different but I do think it's important to occur or try to acquire Bitcoin right now. Um, I do believe in it'll be generational if it's something you can pass on that legacies will eventually be built on this. I think it could possibly be worth a million. People say that's nuts. I really don't think it is. But at the same time, some people think it'll go to zero. Anything is possible. But I'm going to hedge on the uh, prior and think that it is actually going to go to a million dollars one day. Um, let's continue on here. I just thought this chart would be interesting for you to see the halving rewards and how quickly it's going down. 
And if this is something that does go up to millions of dollars or a million dollars or even hundreds of hundreds of thousands, we were, we were damn near close. We hit 60K last time on that magic internet money that people love to hate, that, that, that the world told you not to invest in, that BlackRock is now trying to make an ETF on. Like, come on, guys. Like, what do you think? Are you going to keep believing the lies or are you going to wake up? Uh, sorry, I got a little worked up there. Got to get back to my train of thought. It's just, it, it really bugs me that these financial gurus screwed so many people. And oh, there's a lot of scammers that have stolen a lot. And it's, it's trashy. And I hope God and karma works out against those people. But let's get back to it. So this is Bitcoin. I'm going to show you guys. Bitcoin is something I think is definitely worth buying as I just went over. All time, right? 60K. All this, all through this, these years, they told you, oh, dead coin, scam, don't buy a Ponzi. Okay, all right, bros. It was 60K. We're still at 26K. Amazing, right? So buying a little Satoshi here and there, stacking sats, probably a good idea. Ethereum. I like Ethereum. There's just so much built on top of Ethereum. There's memes, deep fakes, NFTs, so many coins. Like as a layer one, Ethereum, it's it's goaded. It's amazing. And if you look here last time, it got up to almost 5k. Uh I like Ethereum. That's a something else I think might be worth stacking. I mean you you're gonna have to dollar cost your portfolio, but these I'm gonna go through all the coins that I think I would want in my bag. XRP. Conspiracy or not, the fact remains that went through all last bull run, it was tied up in the SEC because of Gary Gensler's punk ass. And guess what? XRP won. XRP has been been fined for violating the Bank Secrecy Act. That's a fact. How many coins have been fined for violating that? XRP to me has a real use case and a real future, and eventually its day will come. Uh, Cardano. Cardano is going through a hard time now. I think Charles Hoskinson's a cool dude. I think he calls it like it is. He's in regular, regular uploads and talking to the community. Uh, and he, he even admitted that he stays away from NFTs. I think Cardano will rebound, and I think a quarter is a good price. Uh, could it go through a postponement this bull run? Maybe. But it's something that I personally hold, and I like their ecosystem. There's a lot being built on it, metaverses, blah, blah, blah. Everything that happened on Ethereum is shadowing and happening on Cardano. So it could it could see uh, a great run this run. But once again, everything is everything's a chance. Nothing is written in stone, but I do believe in that. Matic or Polygon. This is a layer two. Uh, it runs on top or runs along with Ethereum. So you can transfer Ethereum to Matic. It'll burn off of the Ethereum and then it'll be a Matic. And then you could also send it back on, it's called bridging. There's a lot of NFTs and things built on Matic. Disney has been, uh, I think they said, Disney was starting to do experiments on the blockchain of Matic. It is something else that I would be looking at and it's something else I do own. Litecoin. Litecoin, I don't know if I'd personally add this to my bag, but it's a what if, okay? Um... This was one of the first coins that I had experience with. It's actually one of the first cryptos I bought. Bitcoin, Litecoin, and XRP is all that used to be on Coinbase back in the day when I started getting into this. And it was an eye-opener. And Litecoin used to cost $3 back then. Way back here. I wish I would have bought a hell of a lot more. Um, but I, maybe having one or two Litecoin. Litecoin kind of mimics Bitcoin. They Some people call it the silver. I don't know if it'll ever really really take off i don't know i'm not up and up on the algorithm of how much this culture is being influenced but it might be worth having one or two tucked away just to see if you can 4x or so chain link i don't personally own any chain link but there's a lot of people that do uh they call themselves chain link marines um the only reason i'm putting this on here is because the community it's i think communities that are pretty strong are worth noting and just like how people love Teslas, I think there's a lot of fanboys out there for Chainlink. So I wanted to know, throw that in there. I'm not really going to talk about it. I know it, it can work with Visa, but with uh, centralized exchanges having Visas now that lets you spend USDC, that 
to me like this will be like uh i guess payment processing and all that so pretty cool worth the mention stellar to me is this is a conspiracy coin to me i do think this is going to do well but i think it's going to do well for reasons that i'd rather not talk about in a youtube video uh but yeah stellar stellar something i hold and i stack as well hedera i do not own any h bar i wish i did but it's a pain in the ass to figure out and having too many coins in my wallet just gets confusing but this is backed by ibm so ibm is kind of goaded for all their things they've been in multiple wars they've been in multiple technological advances they're tied to the to the big big leagues and stocks and securities so i do i do look for hedera to rebound b chain this is a darling coin for me uh they say never marry your coins but i am in love with v chain it does not do anything super fantastic but it is a a network that is supposed to verify fakes and knockoffs and be used for like the transfer of goods and stuff uh it is it just got listed on coinbase after all these years at two cents a coin this coin last bull run got up to 20 something cents blew my mind i got into this coin at under one cent and this is something that i do also hold and i think it will have a future it could it could have a lull because people don't really know about it or talk about it but i do i do personally love me some v-chain uh sandbox sandbox if you don't know is a metaverse the metaverses took a hard hit uh when the 19 happened a lot of people plugged in and turned online i do think we will still see a metaverse boom I still think we'll see a gaming boom and I think we'll have a stock to crypto trading boom uh, and pairs of like stocks will be tied to crypto. Not like Grayscale's ETF. I mean, literally, you'll be able to buy shares. You'll be able to trade the stock market wise like crypto 24 uh, seven. We haven't hit that. Sandbox could recover the same with Decentraland's Mana. I am not a fan of Mana's DAO. I'm not a fan of the development teams. But I have a lot of friends that I've met and people do do cool stuff on Decentraland. So I can also see the coin rebounding as well. Uh, Gala Games. This is another coin that's kind of close to my heart. Uh, and I would love to do a video just on this coin and I very much well do that. Gala Games has migrated so don't use the contract on this page. But Gala Games is something I am acquiring because I think it will be massive. Uh... I think it has some growing pains to go through and I think the founder needs to check himself sometimes and they are currently in a the the founders are having a disagreement and going through a lawsuit against each other but I, the the coin and the company itself will be fine. The the guys who built this are multi-millionaires and have made corporations such as Zynga, been tied to Facebook and I, I believe MySpace and other other corporations. They've done exceedingly well. And I expect Gala to do big things. It just has to go through its growing pains and iron out its wrinkles. So this is a coin I would definitely be stacking because I do believe gaming will enter Web3 area as soon as we like get over this whole awe and all and bullshit that people are like scared of and don't understand. Um, and Gala also has games that are released on Steam and on Epic. So there's a lot I want to say, and I'm going to dive into this Gala deeper. I, I decided I will do another video on Gala. Uh, Flare. Flare is a coin, another coin that's close to my heart. And Flare, you can currently stake. And every, I, I don't think this is going to go up anytime soon. In fact, it could go down for years. But this is a coin that I'm going to hold for, like, I'm thinking very long term. And you never know what's going to happen tomorrow, right? But. I do think Flare will turn around when networks get faster and things in crypto becomes more widely accepted. Uh, it could take some time, but every month holders of Flare do get, for staking, they do get an airdrop. And I think a lot of the people that got in early just cut that off and sell. And that's kind of a normal thing. But like I said, this is a, a coin that I hold in my bag and... It could be worth investing in, but if you're you're kind of like trying to get immediate gains, I'd probably stay away from this one. But I would I did want to talk about that. That's most of the coins that I want to talk about in this video. I don't want to go too much more 
further because we're at the 15 minute mark. But uh, I will try to make more videos. I'm going to do a video on Gala specifically. And I'm going to do a video on NFTs that I'm interested in. NFTs for specifically the Gala ecosystem that I am interested in. And games I'm interested in. And then I will follow up by doing a dive into my my own personal NFT portfolio and the money I've lost and projects that I expect to rebound or that I want to get into. So I thank you for spending time with me today and listening. If you made it this far, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to view this video and I hope you've learned something or at least you uh, jump on coin market cap here and start looking into these coins. Now is the time to buy. It's not when the cycles peak. It's not after the happening and things start to take off. You have 200 something days, maybe give or take a couple months. I hope you take this video kind of serious and don't get caught up in the hype wave next time. Stay blessed. I will catch you all next time. Peace.